This is a Squeeze podcast. We're your shortcut to being informed. Squeeze Kids! It's your daily news fix. Fun, free, fresh. Good morning and welcome to Squiz Kids Today, your fresh take on what's happening in the world around you. I'm Bryce Corbett. It's Monday, March 7, in Squiz Kids Today. Operation Animal Rescue. Poland opens its arms. Remembering a cricket legend. And move over Wordle, there's a new app in town. That's what's making news, kid style. The Lowdown. As the flood waters that devastated large parts of Australia's east coast began to recede and the full extent of damage was revealed over the weekend, from Brisbane's battered inner suburbs to Lismore's catastrophic CBD and down to Sydney's western outskirts, another menacing weather system was building off the coast of New South Wales yesterday, threatening to wreak new havoc. But... Amid the tales of destruction, there were rays of sunshine too, as neighbours helped neighbours, strangers pitched in to help one another, and stories began to emerge of remarkable rescue missions, including the egg farmer from Queensland, who, with the help of his neighbours, used a tractor's front loader bucket and a couple of kayaks to move almost 2,000 of his hens to higher ground, safe from rising floodwaters. And then there was the story of DJ, the Miracle Dog. Last Tuesday, at the height of the flood crisis, DJ fell into floodwaters as his family was being rescued by helicopter from the roof of their house on the New South Wales north coast. DJ's family was devastated. They'd already lost their home and now they thought they'd lost their furry best friend too. But... three days later, a neighbour told them he thought he'd seen DJ, the Border Collie, alive. The chances of a dog surviving three days and nights in the water seemed pretty slim, but DJ's human dad wasn't going to give up on him. After a six-hour mission using a jet ski and a boat, he found DJ on top of a pile of metal that had once been a garden shed. Even better, he helped rescue ten other dogs and six cats. And yes, because it's a Monday and there's lots of not very nice news about, and so we all need to be reminded that after the rain, the sun shines... There are links to photos of chickens in a kayak and a grinning DJ the dog in your episode notes. And if they don't bring a smile to your dial this Monday, I don't know what will. Spin the globe. Each day we give the world globe a spin and find a news story from wherever it stops. And today we've landed in Poland where villages on the country's southern border continue to fill with Ukrainian mothers and their children escaping the war in their homeland. Yesterday, it was estimated some 1.5 million refugees had fled Ukraine as its neighbouring country, Russia, continues its invasion. A refugee is a person who has been forced to leave their home, often by war, and they've tried to find refuge, which is a fancy word for safety and shelter, in another country. In one small village on the Polish border this weekend, thousands of Ukrainians have been crossing the border every day, in buses, cars, and even by foot. The queue of cars waiting to cross into Poland stretches almost 15 kilometres long, with reports saying many are waiting up to 40 hours in freezing winter conditions to get their families to safety. It's prompted many people all over the world to reach out and try to help. One woman in England put a post on Facebook asking for donations of blankets, food and other essentials. And days later, she'd collected enough stuff to fill an 18-ton truck and nine vans, which she has now sent across the European continent en route to Poland. Because, even in the darkest moments, the essential goodness of people can still shine through. Sport time! The sporting world and the country in general was rocked over the weekend following the sudden death of Aussie cricketing great Shane Warne. Dubbed the Spin King for his remarkable abilities as a leg-spinning bowler, Warney, as he was affectionately known, was widely loved, both for his larrikin spirit and his incredible talent on the cricket pitch. A larrikin is Aussie slang for someone who's a little bit mischievous but basically good-hearted. 
And judging by the large pile of flowers that built up over the weekend at Warney's statue at the MCG and the many, many tributes that were posted to social media by well-known sports people, politicians and celebrities, his was a sporting life that touched thousands of people, both here in Australia and around the world. In his 15 years of being an Aussie cricketer, Warney took a remarkable 708 test wickets. But he was also, importantly, a dad to three kids, who now have to come to terms with life without their father. Meanwhile, social media will continue to be flooded with messages from people all over the world saying, R.I.P. Shane Warne. R.I.P. means rest in peace, which is what we all hope the King of Spin is now able to do. Pop Culture Corner. Are you surrounded by people doing Wordle? Can't get your parents' attention because they're too busy trying to guess the word of the day? Do you have a sinking suspicion that your talents lie more in the song guessing department? Well, you'll be relieved to learn there's a new app in town. It's called Hurdle. See what they did there? And it was making headlines over the weekend as more and more people started playing. In six guesses, after hearing six sound clips, you've got to guess the name of a randomly selected pop song. We crashed out without getting even close to yesterday's selected song, a Kanye West classic, but as with Wordle, the wildly popular word guessing game, there's always tomorrow. Fingers crossed it's an 80s song. Have you ever wondered why a banana is curved? Or how a potato starts its life if it has no seeds? Well, now you can find out, thanks to our podcast partner, Woolworths Fresh Food Kids Discovery Tours. Over the next few weeks, we'll be strapping on our gumboots and heading out to the farm to talk to Aussie farmers to find out where our food comes from. First up, we'll be heading to South Australia, where Farmer Marco will walk us through the process of growing potatoes. And the week after that, we're off to Victoria to meet orange and mandarin farmer Tommy. And, like the digital discovery tours, these farm visits are interactive, meaning we want to ask the farmers questions that you've sent in. So, if you have a question for Marco, the potato farmer, or Tommy, the orange farmer, send it through now to squizkids at thesquiz.com.au. Meanwhile, teachers, head over to woolworths.com.au forward slash discovery tours to request a free classroom kit. And bring the fantastic world of fresh food to your classroom. Time for the quiz. This is the part of the podcast where you get to test how well you've been listening. Question number one. Name the Australian cricketing legend whose remarkable life was being remembered over the weekend. That's right, it's Shane Warne. Question number two. What breed of dog is DJ the Miracle Flood Pooch? Yeah, well done if you got that one. He's a border collie. Question number three. What's the name of the song guessing app inspired by Wordle? That's right, it's Hurdle. It's March 7, and on this day, 88 years ago, the board game Monopoly was invented. It's also National Cereal Day in the United States, because who doesn't love a bowl of cereal? It's also a special day for these squiz kids celebrating a birthday today. Jan V from Forest Lake, Dominic from Mount Gravatt, Charlie from Heidelberg, Artie from Rose Park, Jonathan from Darling Point, Oscar from Abbotsford, Cleo from Bowral, Anthony from Castle Hill, Charlie from Yass, and twins Meg and Neve from Drysdale. And a belated birthday wish to Cooper from Hammond Park. Classroom shoutouts today go to Class 4F at Narandra Public School, Class 5-6-S and Mr. Simone at Mount Riverview Public School. Class 6-S with Mrs. Sorohi at King's Langley Public School. And lastly, to Miss Prisonova's class, the 1-2 Penguins at Tempe Public School. And finally, a very big welcome to the grades 3, 4, 5 and 6 at Mount Carmel School in Yass, who have signed up as fully-fledged Squiz Kids for Schools members. Amanda thoroughly enjoyed her visit with you last week and we're thrilled to have you on board. 
Don't forget, if you've got a birthday coming up and you want a shout-out, or if you're after a classroom shout-out, drop us a line at squizkids at thesquiz.com.au. Well, that's all we have time for. Thanks for listening to Squiz Kids today. We'll be back again tomorrow. In the meantime, get out there and have a most excellent day. Over and out. Over and out.